So in this problem, what we have is we have uh, one P, basically phosphorus plus oxygen gives us P4O10. Let's go ahead and count the atoms on the left. So that's one phosphorus. We have two oxygens. And we have four phosphoruses on the right and 10 oxygens on the right as well. So none of them are balanced, okay? So we can just go ahead and now you can choose what, what you wanna balance first. But let's go ahead and balance for the sake of this problem. Let's go ahead and balance uh, the phosphorus. And I just want to mention one thing is whether you choose to balance the phosphorus first or the oxygen first, it doesn't matter. At the end, your completely balanced reaction should look, should be the same. Okay, so if you say, hey, I want to balance the oxygen first, that's totally fine. Go ahead and balance the oxygen first. If you did it right, at the end, your completely balanced reaction and mine should look identical. So here's a good point where maybe you can uh, pause the video and try whatever approach you want, and then we can kind of match answers at the very end, okay? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the phosphorus. So four times P gives me four phosphoruses out here. I'm going to put that four out to the left out here, okay? And now when I do that, I'm going to get four P plus O2, which gives me P4 O10. Now, at this point in time, you can choose to do it one at a time. So I just chose to balance the phosphorus first, and then I'm going to go in the next step, balance the oxygens. I would recommend going about that since you're since we're learning and this is a new thing. But if you want to try to balance the oxygens at the same time, you can you can do that. Just make sure you manage to keep things straight in your head. OK, all right. So. Let's go ahead and inventory the left and the right again. So we have four phosphoruses on the left. We have two oxygens on the left. We have four phosphoruses on the right, and we have 10 oxygens on the right, okay? Now, to balance the oxygens, all we have to do is multiply both sides with five. So five times this oxygen gives me two times five, which is 10. And I'm sorry, not both sides, balance the left side, okay? That's what I meant. I'm, I'm unsure if I said both sides or not. All right, so, so this five is gonna go up here. So that gives me four P plus five O two gives me P four O 10. And that's gonna end up giving me a total of four phosphorus on the left, 10 oxygens on the left, four on the right of phosphorus and 10 oxygens on the right. All right, I hope that made sense. That's completely balanced. Let's move on to the next one. 